Brian. Um, how are you today? I'm doing fine. Doing good. Good. Um, so I know you uh, work as a, a Uber Eats driver. So mm -hmm. can I ask, may I ask you, like, how long have you been in this job? Um, I've been on and off doing this job for uh, three years. Three years. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. So, so in the, like, um, in the short time, do you find another kind of job or you just stick with it? Um, yeah, I also, uh, I, I work Uber Eats as a part-time job. Um, I still, I do work, uh, I have another job that I work full-time as well. Oh, nice. Okay. So you have been working before COVID hit to the U.S. Um, can you tell, like, like, is there any difference before COVID and after COVID? Yeah, uh, yeah, I've been working Uber Eats. Uh, yeah, before COVID hit, um, I think before and after there was, uh, especially during March, there's a significant difference. I mean, especially when, when the whole country got shut down um, to stay at home for two weeks, mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of increasing demands on on Uber Eats to uh, to actually like there's a lot more orders to deliver food. Um, however, I think like even throughout the day, as I get more uh, I didn't get more job at the same time. Like I still get, I think, around a three orders per hour. Oh. Um, but at the same, uh, you realize that we're the only ones out there on the streets delivering mm -hmm. because there's nobody else on the streets. Um, so working during pandemic, what do you feel about that? Do you feel like um, scary or like you see like people not always wearing masks? What do you think uh, about it? Yeah, in the beginning, especially, I think uh, I started wearing masks in February, in the first week of February. Uh, that's when uh, that's when the COVID starts to hit uh, Hong Kong and China and in Asian countries. And especially in Washington State, uh, actually, you know, we have the first case, first mm -hmm. confirmed case and the first death mm -hmm. in the United States, in our state. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I, there's only a few people wearing masks and I was one of them when I was uh, delivering food. Um, in the beginning, like uh, people feel um, like looking at me weird that why am I wearing a mask? Mm -hmm. But then um, I, actually uh, some of the customers uh, also thank me for wearing a mask just for precaution's sake. Um, but like when, when, when March hits, when we have a first death in, in the state and start cases start popping up in around our state and we have a first outbreak. Um, you can, uh, I remember that there's literally no one on the streets and then we're the only cars that were driving in downtown Seattle. So um, I didn't feel particularly uh, unsafe just because I took enough precautions. I was wearing a mask. Um, and then I didn't see a lot of people uh, walking around. So, uh, and I felt like we were doing uh, a job that is, actually, is essential. So I feel like we're essential workers that um, if people are sick, quarantining in, at home, that uh, it's our job to deliver food at mm -hmm. the door. And we just, we do it safely. We, we, we drop it off at the door and we walk away. So. Throughout the whole process, um, I didn't feel particularly um, um, put at danger, as mm -hmm. to speak, because I I do I do go work on my own, mm -hmm. um, at my own risk. So yeah. So for that, um, so you talk about you um, you you kind of like the kind of like the first group of people wearing masks. So for that, is there like um, the Uber Eat, do they have any policy, like new policy or guidelines for the delivery guy? Like, you know, like they have to follow the rule and... Uh, like yes, that. I, uh, well, I, actually in, I think uh, from February to March, uh, I think there, there was one like, warning notification that was sent out to drivers telling us that hey uh just take extra precautions on um personal hygiene like wash your hands uh like cough into your elbow mm -hmm. since there is a potential of a uh contagious virus coming mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. United States, but there is not any policy change or there's not any thing special that was taken by Uber Eats yeah. um, until I think mid March when everything becomes serious, when um, everything is start to shut down and quarantine for two weeks. That's when uh, I think Uber Eats told us to we must wear a mask before going to work. And I think uh, I think I think around April is when they updated the app uh, that required driver to to actually uh, take a picture of their face uh, that has a mask covered every time they go online before they go online to work. Um, so that's one I guess one way that they can enforce people to wear masks before they start to deliver. Yeah. So since everyone have to stay at home so like a lot of people going to like order the like food from uber eat did it like make your income like raise up a lot yeah, or, or yeah do, they, do they tips you a lot yes actually yeah uh, i gotta be honest yes uh so uh even like we saw more demand um, even though I think per per the most efficient we can do is I think it's three or three or four orders per hour, um, we got a little bit more orders. But like the money that was coming, the income that was coming in is definitely higher, um, especially uh, more on tips. Um, uh, I'll say it increased about fifteen to twenty percent in terms wow, of income crazy. before COVID. Yeah. Yeah, that's help. That's a lot like 15 to 20 percent yes so, yeah yeah that's uh it it does like uh it does help us a lot like it mm -hmm. serves it I, I, we appreciate the the tips especially because when we feel like we were put out to deliver food in a dangerous uh times mm -hmm. and sometimes just a little bit increase of tips and um that really at least at least motivate us to like okay like we can do our job safely and also help people so mm. so you do agree that um uber eat or uh, the other kind of like delivery jobs it could, it could help people who are you know lose lose who lost their job during the pandemic right you do agree with that mm, that uber eats help benefited yeah. the people that yeah. lost their job uh, Kind of, not really, because <laughs> I think, uh, well, the reason that I got to work right away mm -hmm. during the pandemic of Uber Eats, because I was, I was already an Uber Eats driver oh. um, before COVID. So I was already signed up. So all I need to do was to, is to go online and work. Yeah. Um, but for uh, a lot of people that lost their job um, or uh, got laid off because of the pandemic, um, when they try to register as a new driver to Uber Eats, um, I heard that it takes them a long time to to apply and get uh, get accepted, and then also they need to get the car to be clean. approved. Yeah, oh. uh, uh, clean or like yeah, make sure like uh, the car qualified. It's safe to be driven. So, so, um, so how do they know if their car is qualified? So they will have some um, people? Back before COVID, uh, you have to go into like uh, a station. Uh, they have uh, like an Uber, Uber office and then you need to uh, show them record or they need to check if your car is qualified. Like they need to make sure your car is safe to be, safe to drive. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the protocol before where they have to yeah check a car in person. So uh, after COVID uh, pandemic hits, um, they definitely need they definitely change some of the the ways that they have to verify cars, and but they also had to uh, like everybody's working remotely. So uh, I did not know how how efficient they have to accept new drivers. Yeah, so it's like. When like pandemic hit, a lot of people got laid off and also losing their job. Do you think yeah. the government they have they are like part of the responsibility to take care of uh, those group of people? Um, uh, which group of people? The people like, like, that are laid yeah, off in general. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yes and yes and no. Sorry, but because. <laughs> 
it is the uh, well because the uh, the a lot of the workers got furloughed and laid off because of a pandemic. Uh, because the businesses uh like businesses are have to be shut down because because of the pandemic to control the control the virus spread. Mm -hmm. um, like the government did pass a lot of uh, like U.S. government did pass lots of uh, relief bill, unemployment check, um, things that could help out uh, people that just lost their job to survive mm -hmm. in this time. Um, but I I don't think it's their responsibility. Uh, I think it's the responsibility to make sure the economy doesn't collapse. That to make sure that um, um, when gov when companies are bailed out and then the workers are actually the ones that get the money so they could so they could survive um so um for uber eats um it's different like uber eats it's we were considered uh i forgot what they called um um they have a sorry they have a name for it like uber because uber eats we are not considered employees of mm -hmm. uber yeah we're all freelance we are all um independent worker Mm -hmm. So, uh, so they don't have like Uber Eats. Ben yeah, Uber Eats. Yeah, we don't have any benefits. Yeah, you don't have like uh, we, insurance. We, we weren't. Yeah, we have no insurance. Yeah. Um, we're not include. I mean, we were. We were not included in the initial um, relief bill bailout. So, um, as as much as it's nice that you know we can still go out and work for Uber Eats, um, at the same time, it's it's not it's not a uh, stable income. Mm -hmm. So it's not something to rely on. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. So let's talk about, like, what do you think? What's the biggest difference between, like, before and after the cover? The biggest difference when you work at an Uber driver, like an Uber Eat delivery driver? Um, the biggest difference between before and after? Yeah. Um, I think uh, before COVID, um, working as a food delivery driver, it's, um, I think it was, uh, working, yeah, working as a food delivery driver, it's viewed as, um, that, uh, a side job and a job that it's, uh, only in demand when people feel convenient that, oh, they don't want to leave home. They don't want to leave their office and they still want to get food that usually doesn't do delivery. Um. But I think after COVID, um, yeah, I never thought that food delivery service turns out to be that important and it becomes more mainstream. And, um, and also uh, people are willing to pay the extra delivery fee um, to get their food. Um, and then, and I think working, working, working afterwards, um, uh, working after COVID, being a delivery driver, um, it's uh, it doesn't seem um, it doesn't seem that much of a uh, it seems sorry I don't, I don't know how to say it. like it's it's more like a job uh, it's a job that uh, it's also is important to how how people get um, get their service. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, I also interest about interesting about like. Um, is it like more complicated to work during the COVID or like, is that, so you tell, you tell me that um, the Uber uh, being a, a food delivery, is just a side job of you. So how about your, um, your main job? What was, what was you working on? Um, right now, like my main job is, I also got laid off in my main job. <laughs> oh, so, okay. so my side job become my main job during the pandemic. Oh, yeah, what do you but, feel about it? Um, yeah, so I felt at least there is, uh, there is some work that I can do, um, mm -hmm. during the times. Um, so yeah, it definitely gives me like, there's options to work, but also it's, as I said before, uh, working Uber Eats is really unstable. Like mm -hmm. you sometimes, like someday you get really lucky, you get, uh, you get really efficient in making the most money in the shortest amount of time. Um, but some days you really barely get, you barely, you barely get like $50, uh, after working four to five hours because 
there are at times where you just sit in the car and wait for an order and there's no order to come, especially on a week, weeknight. So um, it, it is definitely not uh, a job that, and then the rate also goes, also fluctuate. So oh. sometimes Uber Eats give you a really good rate oh. where um, in that region, you can mm-hmm. work in that region and get really good rates, but sometimes mm-hmm. the rate is gone. So, yeah. um, so, so once that rate is gone, you make like less than, you make 20% less than the previous day. Wow. That's a lot. 20%. For doing, for doing the same, for doing the same job. Yeah. For wow. doing the same amount of work. Um, oh, that's so much difference. Yeah, yeah. So the rates, the rates and the tips makes a lot of difference. It makes at least um, uh, 20% difference. And then, uh, yeah, tips, tips are generally 30% of my income. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, um, so yeah, so uh, yeah, even, even though like I I do work Uber Eats as my side job um it's it's not reliable so uh, at least i feel i can go out and drive but also it it also like my car um uh, it's not good for my car to uh-huh. be drive to drive a lot yeah. um it's it's just burn a lot of mileage off my car um, and lots of stopping and um and also parking like parking is a, it's a issue like mm-hmm. um you have to find parking especially free parking around the city around the restaurant it's mm-hmm. uh it's difficult it's it's easier during pandemic because a lot less cars are on the roads um, but yeah sorry i forgot your question, your question oh, no it's fine you're good you're good yeah so 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 right now I'm, i want to ask you about like how 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 people in seattle like is it um common that people wearing masks now um, yes, uh, now as of like October, I think around with my own eyes, I mm-hmm. see 75% people are wearing masks. Um, compared to, I think, a- April or May, April mm-hmm. and May, when, when, uh, when I think most of the, most of the states start to open up in May, and mm-hmm. people start coming out. Um, after April, I think around 50, 60 percent people are wearing masks then. So um, once the mask mandate comes down to any indoor places or any restaurants that require a mask to go in, people are more accepting and to the idea of everyone should wear a mask for everyone's sake so that business can open, so that we can resume our lives. So. Uh, I do feel safe in Washington State when I see 75%, 80% people are wearing masks. And yeah. Yeah. So I have a last question for you. No <laughs> so, so when do you think the COVID is going to end? And what do you think it's going to be like after the COVID end? The world, what's going to be like? Are you asking like, to the Uber driver or to <laughs> yeah, personal? To you, in person or Uber driver. As an Uber driver, what do you think? Do you think um, the tip's going to be like, you know, drop off a lot and then not many people are going to order Uber? Eat? Oh, uh, the tips have been dropping off already. Really? <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, it's a lot. Uh, yeah, I think since, uh, I think after May, June, um, when people feel more safe and better to go out and get food um, um obviously the tip hasn't been as high as back in march and april mm-hmm. um but for the question of like when you think covid ends um it's that's a tough question it's I, <laughs> it's oh it's it's gonna be a long time because it's uh it's not a virus that will go away mm-hmm. and it's not a virus that will just magically go away even with vaccine um and you know, in the United States, like um, we never got the fires under control like other countries have. Um, so I think, um, like I think, wearing a mask, um, trying to avoid crowd, like when we do our job, um, we're trying to keep a distance. We all do contactless handoff. Everything seems um, very normal now, mm-hmm. and people are 
understanding that that's what it takes for customers to feel safe and for us drivers to feel safe. Um, so I don't think there's any change to how Uber Eats operate um, and how restaurants, um, uh, the restaurants like needs takeout, needs delivery service for them to, to keep going. Um, yeah. So even though rest, like, yeah. yeah, it's kind of like become a new normal. People yeah. shopping online and buying stuff online. Yeah. And you do believe you do believe that uh, it's going to be continues after this? Yes, it's going to continue until um, I think when we stop hearing um, people hospitalizing and people are dying. Or um, maybe just was, will just continues to the end. It, yeah. it, it, it like, might. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because yeah, like everyone just like get used to you know get stuff from online just just sitting in the, at home waiting for the food. <laughs> yeah, so for yeah, I think yeah, like even 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 like the pandemic continues. I don't think it affect what we do. Mm-hmm. Um, even though like even let, let's say like two years later when we everyone start to feel uh, uh, everything start to become like the way it is and yeah. we all become healthy. Mm-hmm. I, I think just the, we know that the, the demand and how convenient food delivery service uh, online shopping are, have been like integrated into our lives. I don't think that's going to change. Like, I don't think people will stop ordering online or ordering food delivery. I think they would start doing more, even more. Yeah, it's like, even after the pandemic. Yeah, the whole economy is going to change to, you know, online shopping. You do, yes. like, you do agree with that, right? <laughs> yes, I do, I do. But, uh, but I'll add one thing. There's also mm-hmm. like one dilemma or um, mm-hmm. uh, a debate going like how much, how much, um, what's the sacrifice? How much is the cost to keep up these services? Like how mm-hmm. sustainable is it? Mm-hmm. Like, like Uber, Uber as a ride share or all the other ride share platforms, um, have um the, their business have, like their money has um the the demands have gone down mm-hmm. their business have gone down like uber eats is the only sector that has been thriving during the pandemic yeah so then then uh let's say drivers uh restaurants start to demand more because they um i've heard i've heard restaurants that always complain about food delivery service that yeah they they don't get a lot of money back and then customers start complaining that the, the food is the, cold. Food is cold. One hour of soup. What, exactly. Where is the soup with the noodles? <laughs> yeah, like missing <laughs> orders. And then also like they're paying a lot uh, more and more to mm-hmm. get food delivery. And drivers feel like we need to get a little bit more benefits. So there is also a give and take mm-hmm. where we don't. And then the companies might be still losing money. So. Mm-hmm. I don't know how sustainable to keep all parties happy to mm-hmm. keep delivering service like that. So um, there's going to be a change. And um, for me, I hope it works out for all parties. Um, but but money got to go somewhere. So um, mm-hmm. I don't know how sustainable it is to keep going after the pandemic. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to stop the recording.